a board member continues to attack me and has for months. There is one way to bring me back. Vote the perpetrator off the board. I don't need the grief, nor should I have to endure attacks from him. Nothing good will come from him. He is malignant. In 1976, the University of California, Berkeley, published an essay outlining the fundamental laws of a force thought to be human's greatest existential threat, stupidity. It went on to say that people share several identifying traits which are irrational, abundant, cause problems for others without apparent benefit to themselves, lowering society's well-being, like a sickness. Also argued was that there are no defenses against this threat. The essay stated five supposed laws. Law 1. Always and inevitably, everyone underestimates the number of stupid individuals in circulation. The essay stated that you are invariably low-balling the total number of stupid people because it doesn't matter how many imbeciles you think you are surrounded by, there is always more. The reasoning for this is because of the biased assumptions that people link intelligent people with job title, education level, or other traits that are believed to be exclusive of stupidity. This links us to Law 2. The probability that a certain person is stupid is independent of any other characteristic of that person. Across all populations, stupidity is a variable that remains constant, whether it is gender, nationality, race, educational level, or income, they all possess a percentage of stupid people. This means there are stupid university professors, stupid people earning Nobel Prizes, stupid people at the Pentagon, especially stupid people elected to office and boards. In every nation on earth, there are stupid people, but it is impossible to put a number to it. And if you do, you are violating the first law. Law 3. Stupid people cause losses to other people or to a group of people while themselves deriving no gain and even possibly incurring loss to themselves. This is the golden law of stupidity. A person who causes a problem for others without a clear beneficial outcome for themselves is self-definitively stupid. There are three other phenotypes that coexist alongside stupidity. Intelligent people. Actions benefit both parties. Bandits. Action benefits themselves at another's expense. Helpless people. Actions enrich others' experience at their own expense. Stupid people. A person who causes problems for others with no self-benefit. The non-stupid are inconsistent and flawed. At times they act intelligently, but sometimes are selfish bandits that benefit at others' expense, or act helplessly and are taken advantage of by others. However, the stupid, in comparison, will act like an imbecile at all times, and this is what makes stupid people so dangerous. Essentially, stupid people are dangerous and damaging 
because reasonable people find it difficult to imagine and understand unreasonable behavior. An intelligent person may understand the logic of a bandit. The bandit's actions follow a pattern of rationality, although nasty rationality, if you like, but still rationality. The bandit wants a plus on his account, and he will produce his plus by causing a minus to appear on your account. All this is bad, but it is rational. And if you are rational, you can predict it. You can foresee a bandit's actions and often can build up your defenses. With a stupid person, all this is absolutely impossible, as explained by the third basic law. A stupid creature will harass you for no reason, for no advantage, without any plan or scheme, and at the most improbable times and places. You have no rational way of telling if, when, how, and why the stupid creature attacks. When confronted with a stupid individual, you are completely at their mercy. Law 4. Non-stupid people always underestimate the damaging power of stupid individuals. The costly mistake that we make is that we underestimate the stupid, and that can lead us into our own demise. Law 5. A stupid person is the most dangerous type of person. The fact is, a stupid person is more dangerous than even a bandit. The reasoning behind this is that stupid people can bring a society, a club, a nonprofit, a corporation, a government, etc., etc., toppling down due to their indecisive and destructive symbiotic outcomes. Societies that fall under the mercy of the stupid are those that have an equal amount of stupid people and successful ones, but will also have a high percentage of helpless people. This is where they damage not only themselves and others, but will also lead the whole society, the club, the nonprofit, the corporation, the government, etc., on a downward spiral.